guys. Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last mm-hmm. time on, we had Halloween. Halloween. And um, Gina became the uh, best human human slash genius. Slash no genius. longer just detectives. That's true. But, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're still on night shift. Mm. And um, no pimento. No pimento, yeah. No. So let's see where we go from here. Mm. Let's do it. Bubba, Bubba, come in here. Hey, Nicholas. Uh. Bubba, I'm so scared. There's a monster in my closet. It's pimento. <laughs> Dude, that would be something like he's hiding there trying to find you. <laughs> but I saw it. It was bigger than Harry. Oh, it could you be. just had a nightmare, buddy. No, it was real. I'm sure, it felt that way. But I am going to open this closet. And I'm gonna show you that there's this in there. there. Don't do that, Papa. See? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Rick. Huh, hey, Chuck. Sorry. It's Pimento. <laughs> <laughs> he used to live there a little bit. He did. Yeah. That's yeah. That's why he came to mind. <laughs> I was in prison in Uzbekistan. It's actually not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> I deserve that. They tortured us. Made me eat my co-pilot's tongue. Oof. Now I've got a taste for it. <laughs> the important thing is... Just... <laughs> son of a bitch! You're the son of a bitch! Oh, we'll see who's a son of a bitch. Oh, yes, we will. Aw, <laughs> so sweet. Violet. Yeah, this is awkward. I'm sure they'll stop soon. <laughs> and it's escalating. Let's go. <laughs> Life is funny. That's what you realized? And it's short. We're picking up where we left off when Adrian went into hiding. We're getting married tomorrow. Oh, what? Tomorrow. That's real quick. Thank you, Sarge. And <laughs> the next 14 hours are going to be hell. But in the end, you will have the satisfaction of knowing that you've finally done something worthwhile with your lives. I kind of think the police were. I don't have time to stroke your damn ego, Sergeant. Let's make a way. <laughs> Ooh, Gina's got jelly beans. Pimento? No. Dude, this guy bounces Bad. all over the damn place. Gina. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Gina. Bad. They actually prefer my hair work to their mommies. <laughs> I love their little heads. <laughs> Terry, what's going on, man? It's just a matter of time before I'm doing their hair at their weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it together, Jeffords. Scully and Hitchcock, you're in charge of seating. Smart move, Amy. I've been called the Leonardo <clears throat> da Vinci of sitting on my ass. Great. <laughs> we just want to keep it classy. Got it, balloon arch. What? Say no more. It's done. I'm off to the nearest balloon store. Okay, Rosa, you should be off it. Oh no, burned down. How did this happen? Uh, it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We'll think of something. All right? Nope. This is a sign from the universe. I can't marry Rosa. Uh, guys, the wedding's off. Hmm. Man, I don't know what. This- I don't know what could happen. Oh, no, no, no! You're right, the marriage is cursed. What? No, you waited wrong. I'm sorry, Jake, it's an omen, and I'm not taking your side against the universe as it's hundreds of years old. What if there's something that's even true to you? I think it's a little off. You know what's off? Your mouth. Why Jake lets your stupid tongue anywhere near him, I'll never know. Nope, I forgot the sugar, that's on me. Wait, you couldn't have done that before? You really made the balloon arch. Made? No. I birthed her. <laughs> more graceful than the arch. No object more whimsical than the balloon. Yes. <laughs> Rosa would want a much, much bigger balloon arch. Back to the balloon store. Uh, Amy, we've got a problem. What? Rosa's drunk. Rosa? No. How? <clears throat> Bellini's rule. Nancy Myers, you've done it again, you saucy bitch. <laughs> I don't know why. Was... I didn't know you could get drunk off champers. I mean, it's half bubbles. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, you don't go to the Renaissance Fair every weekend in your 20s without learning how to handle your mead. Great. Thanks. Is that true, Rick? No, mead gets me. <laughs> I mean, if it was up to me, we'd get hitched, but she had a really bad divorce. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that upset you? I'm good. He's gonna be drunk. Oh, they both have. Oh, I wanna marry her butt so bad. To Genevieve's butt. To Genevieve's butt. (sighs) Look at all this crap. So much for the food. They took all their merchandise and burned their store. This is a bad idea. We should leave now. What? No. All we're gonna do is find the earrings and then light this place on fire for revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, you're not. That is a crime. I'm 
true. Once you steal something, none of your stuff belongs to you. <laughs> I've heard that too. No, you haven't. No one has. Put that down. Dino, get up here! Yeah, Dino, get in here! So you can watch me light your house on fire! Uh, okay, everybody, just keep it cool. Everybody be chilly, chilly. Who is chill. Dino, dog? Slice your face off. Get a katana. What? He has his sword. Sword. quick. Oh, Gina. Wait, wait. Uh, the trailers won't hold all three of us at the same time. Smart. Oh! oh. That was the opposite of being a police officer. We just robbed somebody. Who robbed us? The universe is back on track, baby. We got grandma's earrings back. And the rain stick. Yeah, she did the rain. How? She didn't have that. <laughs> I just have to pump the gas twice and turn it back on. This happens all the time. Uh, this has never happened before. Everybody out. This has never happened before. The two of you need to stop looking for signs everywhere. Oh my God, a sign. <laughs> you can fly. Prop plane. You can fly, you can fly! I'm a vessel for the universe. Oh my god, it's so It's in here four or five hundred feet away. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my. I got I rolled two, not about. While Pimento stares at Rosa, we'll all be staring at her. Oh my gosh. Yes, we will. She's truly breathtaking. There's a double meaning to that. The breath that it takes to inflate all those balloons. <laughs> of course, I used a hand pump, but the bone mode still works. Didn't Rosa want things to be classy? I mean, she's getting married, not finishing a marathon. So says the hair guy. Stay in your lane, bucko. Right, Santiago? The orange sucks. I'm sorry. I didn't want to say anything because you're my boss and you were so excited, but the truth is, every time I look at it, I want to die and take you with me. <laughs> well, I wish you'd said something before I spent all day making it. Of course, you didn't want to burst my bubble, pun intended, and then you did. Uh. <laughs> Forget the arch. Charles didn't sober up Rosa. She got him drunk. Oh no, how drunk is he? Remember the night they canceled Bunheads? We're ruined. It's fine, I'll handle it. You got your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Uh, my face hurts. For you, such a good father. Oh, I miss my father. He used to be daddy's little girl, but we never talk anymore. You don't? Oh, That's what no. happens. You grow up, your bomb with your dad goes. Damn it, Terry. No, it doesn't always happen. Right? Not to special daddies who put the time in. Who do you think used to do my pigtails? Mm. Why can't they stay babies forever? Berlini. 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 <laughs> You're a trained pilot. No, I'm not. I'm self-taught. What? Oh, yeah. You can learn anything online. Oh, you should see me do origami. Oh, do you know how to do a frog? Oh, uh, no. Can you do a swan? No. Nope. Can you do a crane? What's a crane? Okay, he does not know how to fly a plane. All right. Ready? The crane's the main origami one. Right? <laughs> The chairs, chairs are great. still perfection. Yeah. And they're perfection. I'm so proud of you, buddy. It was you. You made this happen. All right. This I'm so, so proud of Hitchcock and Scully. <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't drink. Being drunk sounds terrible. Hello, Amy. I didn't see you there. How did the wedding go? Terry. <laughs> How did the wedding go? <laughs> I lost my V card to the woman that refilled Nana's oxygen tanks. Her hands were so strong from turning the nozzles. This is a room of nightmares. You're the nightmare. Hmm? You made me kill <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. So drunk, I'm alliterating like a beatnik. Uh, everybody outside. Yes. <laughs> Scully, Hitchcock, bring the frost. Oh my gosh. They gotta do this because they did a good job. Wait, where's Hope? Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. Nice job, you two. We are nailing it today. <laughs> uh, if I didn't know them any better, I think they don't even want to get married. Uh, they, they don't want to get, get married. married. I suppose I can see how a balloon arch might have been a little too much. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, you're supposed to say, this wedding looks like garbage. This wedding looks like garbage. No, no. As long as the bride's happy. Hey there, everyone. <laughs> Great so far, right? uh, next up, what rhymes with juicy hiney? Nothing. Nothing rhymes with that. I would cut that line. But that's all I have. Forget it. <laughs> that's all I have? 
Maybe the universe wasn't telling you stuff today. Maybe you were telling yourself something. Telling myself what? Yeah, telling myself what? what oh you my gosh, here? do you know I'm what I'm a part doing? of this journey. Don't you dare try to cut me out. The stick's back there. Yeah, you ever see those sticks that you juggle the other stick? Oh, okay. That's a real M. Night Shyamalan twist. They, uh, signs! <gasps> Wait, do you think he's behind all of this? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Okay. You done good, kid. Glad it took you along for the ride. <laughs> 20, oh my gosh. No, give it up for the devil sticks. They're the real heroes here. Can't let all this go to waste. Everybody clear these chairs out of here and let's get this party started. No, not the chairs! Don't touch the chairs, you monsters! <laughs> yeah? Um, I just wanted to thank you for Is it filled with balloons? Yesterday. I didn't do much. It was nothing. Yeah. Good day. Get back to work. Wait, what do you have in there? A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! <laughs> 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 I need to stop it. I, like I can't stop it. I, I can't stop it. Stop it. Oh. Oh. That's what it is. It's a fucking thing. I balloon arch is one of my favorite th gags of, of whole of the whole thing. I've always really enjoyed it, but I've never enjoyed it more than watching with you guys. It's never been better. Like I knew he was gonna say vindication, vindication. and he still got me. Vindication. Cut. Rumi lock. No, no. Oh man, dude, this this episode too. I was so proud of Hitchcock and Scott. I know, right? I'm like, oh my. They gosh. didn't fuck up. Once like, we're all fucked up around them, yeah. they're over there fucking. They're like measuring <laughs> and leveling Rick the crying, fucking chairs the and shit. I'm sorry, oh, yeah. your your face is covered in tears. It's very funny. Oh, but yeah, you're right. I, they they were so great. I'm so happy for them. Yeah, yeah. I love it. They 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 work so well that they got to spray everyone else with those fire extinguishers. Even Holt. <laughs> Pimento is such a fantastic <sighs> guest for the show. Dude, he just... He, he fits he, in he, so well, but he's so over the top. He's so out there. He's so it's erratic. So, it's, so, it's so crazy, but I don't know. I just buy it, too. Because of his, like, years of undercover work has turned him crazy. Well, he but, takes all this horrific things and lets you laugh at it. Yeah. And that actor is specifically like that. I know a lot of it, he does a lot of improv and stuff, but The League, if, I don't know if you guys ever saw The League... It's about a group of guys that do fantasy football, but he's in that show too. And like a lot of his humor is similar, but he's playing a completely different character. But yeah, there's just something about him where I just every time I see him in a role, I love it. And I just love him from How Did It Get Made. It's yeah, a podcast they do about bad movies. Gotcha. He was, that. But he was in Nicolaj's closet. Yeah, it was well. Fucking like I get him coming there to shower. You said, but why is he hiding in the closet? And he was the standing there. He was standing like this. In there, it wasn't like, like like he had to do that, yeah. Right, like it wasn't like Nico was, ah, oh, daddy. He's like, what? And, you know, he didn't come out. I was like, hey, sorry, it's just me. And he told Nicolaj like specifically, if I wanted you dead, you would be dead. He told him many times. You, you would never hear it. <laughs> you would never hear it. Man, Rick was like, ah, oh, it's Pimento. That I'm like, yeah, that would be something. Yeah. He's like, that is a monster in there. Yeah. He's hairy. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, hairy. Yeah, it might actually be Pimento. The episode was called Monster in the Closet. Got gotcha. uh, But as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the Pimento thing. And you said that, and I was like, eh, it's not too bad. <laughs> but, yeah, man, Balloon Arch. Well, what was he doing like. on the plane? He was running guns? Uh, yes, he was working for a uh, Republic uh, running weapons, I think. And then he got caught in the Uzbek, Uzbekian but, like, prison. who's he running them for? Well, I mean, he... He had to r run, so yeah. I guess he couldn't be known. He had to yeah. be undercover of whatever it was. He has else. a certain group of friends. They get to find him. Yeah, I guess. And he ate another person's tongue. I got a taste for it. I got a taste for it. It's, 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 it's a, so dark. It's so dark and ironic. But you chuckle at it just but because I, of his taste for tongues. Like his delivery <laughs> is so good. Uh, I feel like his uh, 
his style, like the way of speaking, his cadence is, I don't know if it makes sense, but it's perfect for editing. Like he's really, really good at just being edited. Like, cause you can kind of place all of his lines in certain ways and they're gonna <clears throat> land no matter what. Whereas sometimes certain deliveries like Holt, like it's very specific. You need to edit to it, not yeah. around it. And zoom in. <laughs> yeah. But Pimento, you can take scenes in and out and it's still going to be exactly what it needs to be. Sure. No, I get you. I mean, the things that were so funny, it was just all throughout the episode. Yeah, it was top to bottom a great episode. Like the blue narch was hilarious, yeah. but that was all through the episode. Yeah. And then the signs joke at the end. <laughs> they just kept talking about signs the whole time. Yeah. And then my Shyamalan twist, signs. You think he's behind all of it? He's in control the whole time? <laughs> what now? Yeah, I love the Bellini thing too. Yeah. Because like her being like, what's that? All right, I've tried. And then whenever it's like she's drunk, she's like, she's a, well, damn, what, what, whatever she said, I can't think of what she said now. Rosa. It's like, she's a sassy bitch or something like that. I don't know what she said. She said some words that had her Bellini. And it was just funny, just the way she came out saying yeah. that. And I love that everyone, like, Boyle came in, and they start talking about divorce and marriage and all that stuff, and then he's crying and yeah. drinking. And then Terry comes in, they start talking about, like, her dad and pigtails and all that kind of stuff. It really does feel like every single character shined at a certain moment in the episode, yeah. too. Even Hitchcock and Scully, sure. and not being their no. normal I, I just really love the one yeah. shot of them, like... Measuring the chairs and how far they are, and putting a they level take on them to make very sure. Seriously. Yeah, like that's what they're. And I also loved whenever like, uh, what was the line? It was uh, I was once called the uh, Leonardo da Vinci of sitting on my ass, and uh, I can't remember. What, was it Hitchcock that said that one? Scully. I think Scully, Scully said that one. And then Hitchcock's like, like looking at his ass. <laughs> like, it's sometimes little things like that. Like if you're not paying attention, you don't see that. Like it's, sure. it's not. It's not the joke. It's not being said. Yeah. Like, sure, like, Scully's thing was funny, but Hitchcock, like, like looking at the ass it was, it just makes it a little bit more. I wonder if that was, like, in the script for him to do, or if he just, like, <coughs> did it on his own. Yeah, I don't know. Like, an improv kind of moment. I feel like Pimento's accurate. He, just ha- he has a way of making the absurd make sense to him that I enjoy. Well, he speaks so quickly yeah. that you don't have so much time to think about the last yeah. thing he said when you're already on the next thing. Yeah, sure. And it's, it's like a weird thing where I'm like, <clears throat> I don't know how he got there, but I believe he did. You know, if that makes sense. Whenever they were like, and then we'll light this house on fire for revenge. You know? <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah. But wait. <laughs> Dino, get up here. He's like, yeah, get up here so you can see me light your house on fire. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Dino came up with a samurai sword. Of course, every pawn shop has samurai swords. I guess. And they took all their stuff. Dude, I will say... That part there, left the price tag, um, especially in with, with what's gone over the last years and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, that part where she's like, I love being a cop. And he's like, no, no. What we did was the opposite of cops. Like, yeah. I'm glad that they did that. Yeah. And like also had like the detective who's like, this was insane. Yeah. It should not have been what we did. Mm-hmm. But also those people also like took all the stuff from the pawn shop and burned down their own place sure. for insurance money yeah. and then to sell this shit. So. Anytime, it wasn't like they were in the right either. Anytime but... you steal something, all your things are no longer yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that too. <laughs> That's funny. So. I wasn't sure who Nancy Myers was. I guess she did, like, The Parent Trap, something got to give what women want. Gotcha. Okay. A bunch of movies I've seen, yeah. but She's a saucy I didn't bitch. know who she was. I, uh, I did love Raymond Holt's timing with bursting the bubbles. Because, I mean, he, he takes that whole scene, you hear him back there, but you as soon as they cut back to him, he goes... <laughs> <laughs> you just but it's just, it's just perfection when it comes to timing of things. It's so good. I just love him having that one-sided conversation with Terry. <laughs> yeah. It's like... <laughs> no, you should have said this. I guess this does look good. Well, it's like, about no, what you should say this place looks like garbage. This looks like garbage. It's about what the bride wants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's in the right... But he wants him to say the stuff, but yeah. still be in the right. You know, in shows like this, you always have like, well, who's the straight man going to be, so that we can bounce off this absurdity a- after? It's almost exclusively a whole is the straight man, or I should say, ironically. But it was Jake this episode. You have yeah, it was and Jake Amy. this episode and Amy, <laughs> and you you have moments of like, I can't believe this is Captain Holt, but it's exactly Captain Holt. See, and Amy usually is a little <clears throat> crazy because of like. Because of the binders, because of the organization, because yeah. of all the stuff going on, and she was a lot. She wasn't like unhinged here. She yeah. seemed a lot more stable. 
but everyone else was she just was going just crazy around her. Exacerbated. You know? And I appreciated the, that Rosa, Rosa <clears throat> like, like thanked her specifically. Called her out. Yeah. Even though it didn't work out. So what do you think of the decision? Not getting married. I think it's a good idea to not get married and keep all the presents. Yeah. And if you got a problem with true. it, we'll be in the parking lot and come talk to us. They did say they <laughs> didn't really ever actually go on a date. They yeah. always just banged, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if you got that a date, maybe you can. <laughs> was it Hitchcock or Skull? I can't even remember which one it was. But he was apparently looking into the room to he see was. what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was I like, guess he turned into talking. <laughs> what do I even work here for? What's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the point of even coming into work? Do you think, like, can you just go to an airport and get a small plane? I think they stole that plane. <laughs> I, I, I imagine. <laughs> I could buy a plane. I just, what was the conversation there and how they believe him? I mean, the issues is... I mean, he did say he was a If pilot. he has a pilot's license, you could probably rent yeah. a plane. Can you? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you can rent boats. You can rent a plane, <clears throat> right? I'm sure you can. You can rent a car. In order to rent a car, you got to have proof of a license and stuff. I'm sure you can rent a boat. I'm sure you could rent a plane. But if you can rent a plane, I imagine they need to have proof of license and stuff. And I don't imagine he had that. He might so have that's the ones. part where I'm like, I think they could rent a plane, maybe. Hmm. But if he doesn't have a license, which it gotcha. seems like he doesn't, I don't know how they got to do the rest of the part. I just wonder what. It, I guess you could, but you still have to have like you have to log a flight path. Mm -hmm. You have to have. I guess you have to have the license. I mean, does, does usually, his license from the Republic or wherever he was? Is that usually when you rent work? a plane? I imagine that the pilot is. It comes with. Yeah, it, it comes it's with. Not usually, that's yeah. your, or you're taking another. You charter. A you're plane. taking you another charter. Uh, yeah. person or something. Like that. It's usually what happens. Yeah, because it's got to come back. Typically, yeah. I just like, can't imagine. This is like, landing. Well, how's it get back? Yeah. I can't imagine just like signing a paper and they just throw you the keys over the counter. Like, all right, bring her back. I mean, a fool. And you just have a plane, especially without any like proof that you can't fly it. I mean, people who are going through pilot training stuff, they have to log so many hours. Yeah. I'm sure like lots of those people that are going through that can't actually like own a plane because planes are expensive. True. But you yeah. can probably pay to pay for fuel and yeah. pay for like using a plane. Yeah. But them flying from point A to point B by themselves without a license, yeah. which is what's implied, is the, the fishy yeah. part of it. Hmm. It's interesting. They broke many laws this day. Yes. Yes they did. Alright, well that was uh I was very much looking forward to the the wedding here and the yeah. arch the balloon arch. I'm happy it happened. Uh, when Melanie when watching this, I know she has a fear of balloons. Would she have freaked out? Watching yeah, this, she like, probably wouldn't. She'd celebrate, right? She probably wouldn't have. No, what do you mean? You're giving those balloons the business. No, that's she doesn't like that. Damn. Right. What are you talking about? Hmm. Guys, thank you very much for watching our reaction to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Heck of an episode. If you want to see more reactions, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can also watch along the entire reaction. Yeah. We're watching off from Hulu, and you can too. Vacation!